So besides being the executive director of Learning 2, my day job is at the Western Academy of Beijing. And this is our mission sp statement, to connect, inspire, challenge, and make a difference. And we feel we've made a big difference in some of the work we've done, particularly in the area of action research. So action research is where teachers are the researchers, okay? And we have seen improvements in practice through our action research. Now, here are five books that we have already published in the iBook store about action research and the action research projects that we've done. And we've got another one coming out soon. So we're pretty proud of the work we've done. We think we've done some pretty good work on action research. Now, in April of last year, I was sent a link to this news item. Okay, it says, the headline, leave research to the academics, John Hattie tells the teachers. I'll just give you another couple of quotes from that article. I don't have any time for making teachers. I've got, we have no evidence that action researchers make, and I can see what's happened to my slides. But anyway, he's saying here, we don't think teachers should be action researchers, okay? That's what he's sort of saying. I don't have any time for teachers as researchers, okay? So just to put into context, this is my number one hero, Sir Ken, okay? All right? He is my number one hero. My number two hero is, oh, sorry, that's the wrong list, wrong list. Uh, is um, Reuben, the summer man, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name. Can anybody say his last name? And my third person on my list here is John Hattie. So my top three, and he's one of them, and he's saying these things about action researchers and teachers. So can you imagine my reaction when I read this? And this is what was going on in my head. Yeah, why the face, yeah? I was so mad. I wanted to reply to that article. I got my laptop out. I was penning a few comments. I was going to be quite rude. I thought I'd take some of the rude words out, but I'm actually going to say something to John Hattie, and I'm going to stick it at the end of that article in the comments section. So I got my rather choice words, copied, paste, ready to paste, went to the article and started looking for the comments section. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Guess what? No comment section. It was as if a bomb had gone off and then they'd run out of the room and leaving me feeling like this. There was no place for me to reply. So I thought, whatever. I'll just go back to the classroom, whatever. Back to my extended essay, back to my personal projects, whatever. Time passed. And this why the face idea allowed shrunk a bit, allowed some clarity in my mind, and I thought, I shall go back and look at that article again. Leave, sorry, leave researchers to the academics. I'm going to look at that again. And I thought, I would apply my action research principles to actually look at what that means. So I came up with my research question. To what extent does action research make a difference to the quality of teaching? And I went back to those five books and the book that we're about to publish to find the evidence. Evidence, multiple ways of learning, I found. Motivated students, we found through our action research. Higher levels of achievement. And most importantly of all, a culture of sharing with us and within our colleagues. But here was my smoking gun piece of evidence. You see, this all started in April 2010. Steve Jobs introducing the iPad. Well, of course, being in the school that I am at the Western Academy of Beijing, my head teacher at the time 
less than 18 months later, came up to me and he said to me, um, when are we bringing in the iPads? And I went, steady, steady, steady on. I think it's a if, not a when. Let's go and have a look at what the research says about iPads. Now, have any of you done any academic research? Okay. Does it take a month, two months? Normally about two years from when you start the research, you actually get it published, if not longer. So this was 18 months he came to me. So unfortunately, we couldn't get any academic research because there wasn't any, so we had to go and do our own, and that's what it all, where it all started. And we produced this first book as our first project, and we found at the end of this project we had highly engaged students, improved research skills, higher levels of achievement, and I think the main one is like over 15,000 downloads of this book. So in answer to John Hattie's, we've got no evidence that action researchers make any... Anyway, he's saying that uh, teachers are not very good at action research. And this is really what I now think John Hattie. Okay? On that experience, let's think about the kids in our classroom. We want to provoke our students into thinking, okay? And sometimes we provoke them so much that they also get the, why the face? And our duty is to get that thinking diminished so they can really think about what they want to say. We need to give them this. We need them to give them a right to reply. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much.